What is speaking in tongues? What's up guys, it's Jonathan. I wanna to talk to you guys about something called tongues. What is tongues? La, 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 la. It's that thing that's stuck in your mouth. That's a stupid joke. Okay, Jonathan, let's get to the point. The scriptures talk about tongues all the time in the book of Acts and Paul talks about it all the time. What are tongues though? Tongues are about as controversial as an old lady dyeing her hair purple. I, I don't know what that means. One, there's tongues of men. The Bible talks about being gifted to speak in other languages. The Holy Spirit comes on you, descends on you like a dove. Oh. And then all of a sudden, you are able to speak in another language. Let's say I am walking down the streets in Mexico. I do know a couple of phrases, donde esta baño, but I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. So anyways, I'm walking down the street in Mexico. I'm trying to spread the gospel. I walk up to a guy and he has no idea how to speak American. English is quite different. American is like this funky, dirty language. I go up to him, I'm trying to spread the gospel, but I can't do it because there's just language barrier. My Google Translate is not working. All of a sudden, you know, the Holy Spirit Spirit touches me and I can speak in Spanish and I tell this man about the awesome things that Jesus has done for me and he gets saved. I received the gift of speaking in tongues. But there's this other thing that the Bible talks about, the tongues of angels. Now, I can imagine in heaven, obviously they're not speaking American because that's a dirty language. You know, if I was an angel, I would probably speak in French because that just sounds like a very... It's, it's, I'm pretty sure I'm making... That's Italian. I'm not racist, but I do love garlic bread. Angels definitely don't speak Australian. Probably New King James Version. But they may be speaking a heavenly language. We don't know what that language is. There's a lot of evidence in the Bible that talks about people actually being gifted with the ability to speak in a heavenly language. We're talking angelic tongues right now. If you've ever been in a church service and all of a sudden somebody's like and you're like ah what is going on? Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Possibly that person is being influenced by the Holy Spirit to speak in a heavenly language. Now possibly that person is being influenced by the Spirit of Stupid. Now we are not the person to judge. It's none of my business what that person is speaking. In fact it talks about in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 that there is a time and a place to speak in tongues. Now where that place is, uh, that's up to you and Jesus. I like what Paul said though he said I speak in tongues more than you all but whenever he's in a public place or whenever he's preaching on stage on a Sunday morning he's not gonna be busting out speaking in tongues why because it's gonna be confusing and nobody's gonna understand what he's saying the people are thoroughly confused Bolataki in the back of the Hyundai wait did you say there's a bowl of Takis in the back of that Hyundai hold on I gotta go get some Takis right, and there's though some people sound like they are casting out demons whoa you know, don't get in front of them because they're swinging their arms. They're very intense. But that does not say that every time you hear somebody speaking in a language you don't understand, that that means it's demonic. Basically, if you are interested in speaking in tongues, which you should be, by the way, because it's considered a gift of the Holy Spirit. And I don't know about any of you guys, but I know on Christmas Day, I'm not leaving a present under the tree. I'm going to tear into that thing. I am not going to leave a present wrapped underneath the tree. If you have a gift, you should want it. So if you don't speak in tongues, I encourage encourage you to try to. Try to speak in tongues. What does that mean? Well, it's a heavenly language and we know everything in heaven works by faith. Here's what I did. I'm just going to be totally honest with you. You can see what works. I've heard a whole lot of people say this is how you speak in tongues and a lot of those people, in my opinion, are crazy. Although, I am crazy. So why are you taking my advice on any of this stuff? First off, we know Jesus loves faith. So if you're off in your closet, um, I want to speak in tongues but I don't know what to say, just let the Holy Spirit work through you. Just say some words. If it's not speaking in tongues, Jesus isn't going to be offended because you're trying. And Jesus loves your faith. Here's what I've heard said, that it's easier to steer a car that's moving. If, you're, if the car's not moving, then it's really difficult to steer because it ain't going nowhere. If you are trying to learn how to speak in tongues, open your mouth and start making noises. It, personally, speaking in tongues has been one of the most influential parts of my prayer time. I really need the Holy Spirit to help me pray. And so, He gives me this heavenly language. I believe anybody that is filled with the Holy Spirit has the ability to speak in tongues. Now, if this offends you, I apologize. This is my opinion. It just so happens that my opinion is right. Is that person being offended right now? Trolls, please do not make any comments on this video. No trolls allowed. Now, I'm not talking about the fluffy ones with the hair. If those are real, you're allowed to comment on this video. But I'm talking about the ones that are like, just like to hate on people. You know, to those kinds of people, I would like to say, Never mind, I'm not going to say anything. So the Holy Spirit wants to speak through you. But the only way that that's going to happen is if you open up your mouth and allow Him to speak through you. Don't be scared. First off, get in your Bible and read it. There is no excuse for not reading the Scriptures. If you read the Bible, you see that it talks about speaking in tongues, which it does 
all the time in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. That's whenever you allow the Holy Spirit to start teaching you and training you. Use the scriptures. So that's my topic, speaking in tongues. I hope that it was informative. I hope that you didn't get too annoyed with my voice. I hope that you didn't get confused by my trolls comment or about the lady with the purple hair. You guys have a blessed day. Hope to see you next week. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Comment on this video. I'd love to hear what your opinion is. Don't hate in all caps. All caps looks like you're yelling at me. Please subscribe to my channel. I plan on making a whole lot more of these videos. I love speaking in tongues. I genuinely speak in tongues like every single day and I'm not even making that up. Or I'm maybe just talking to myself about some random thing that Donald Trump just tweeted.